Hi there. Welcome to part two of Exploring Binary Trees in Haskell. If you haven't seen part one, you may want to watch that before watching this video. In part one, we looked at how to create a binary tree, implemented a function to map over the binary tree, and made the binary tree an instance of the functor type class. In this video, we will focus on three ways of traversing a binary tree. That is the pre-order method of traversal, the in-order method of traversal, and the post-order method of traversal. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. Let's get into it. First, let's start off with defining what we mean by pre-order traversal, what we mean by in-order traversal, and what we mean by post-order traversal. So in pre-order traversal, we say that we want to do a thing, whatever that thing is, to the root or to the node that we're at first, then we address the left subtree, and then we address the right subtree. So let's say I wanted to print the values of this second tree I have outlined here. In pre-order traversal, I would say, all right, let me deal with the node I'm at. So if I start at the root, I'm dealing with one first, then I'm going to deal with my left subtree. So given three, I'll deal with that as the node I'm currently at. And then I will deal with my left subtree. So then I'll deal with four. And then I'll come back and say, let me deal with the right subtree. But three doesn't have a right subtree. So we move back to one and then we deal with its right subtree. If we deal with, so before, before I hop into in order traversal, let's just write this up and then we'll, we will, we will continue. So I'm going to call this values pre-order and we're going to implement this function. So values pre-order, this is going to be a function that takes a binary tree and I want to get all the values in pre-order. So if I have an empty node, empty isn't this empty, then I just want to get an empty list, right? There's nothing there. If I have a leaf node, then I just want a list with that value in it. Now, if I have a node that has a left subtree, a value and a right subtree, where the left and right subtree could be a leaf node, or they could be a node, or they could be empty, then I want to deal with the value that I have first. Then I want to deal with the left subtree. Then I want to deal with my right subtree. And that should be it for the the implementation of the pre-order traversal. Let's test this out in the REPL to see if, if, if this works as we expect it to work. So if I reload my, let's just reload, right? Already had this stuff. Uh, and then I got my 
binary tree that we that we were working with and then I just check with browse on my module to see that I have my function exported fantastic we do let's use it so I can call values pre-order with my binary tree and now I have my output so this is what I'm expecting one three four and two let's hop over and see if that's what I said we would get one three four and two perfect so that's pre-order traversal let's look at in order traversal in order says I'm going to deal with my left subtree then the node I'm at then my right subtree so it's kind of in order from left to right right so if we start out at the root of the second tree we say let me deal with my left subtree so we go down to three and then now that we're on three we're going to deal with our left subtree and so we get to four and that's all we have so we get four then we deal with the node that we were at so we get three and then we deal with the right subtree but this node with three does not have a right subtree so we go back to our root node one and then we deal with it and then we'll deal we deal with our right subtree so we would get four three one two as our output so let's build that and export it we'll call that values in order we'll do that there we will do a name change And we will move this operation that we were doing to the middle. Because like I said up top, we want to deal with our left subtree, then the node that we're at, the value that we have, and then deal with the right subtree. And let's test this out in the REPL. So we reload, we browse our module to see that we have the in order function exported, and we recreate our binary tree, and then we use our method, I mean our function on the binary tree so now we're using values in order and we get four three one two is this what we were expecting four three one two perfect now let's look at our post order traversal in this one we say we want to deal with our left subtree, our right subtree, and then the node that we're at. So if we started at the root node with a value of one, we're going to deal with our left subtree. Cool, so we get down to three. Then we say we're gonna deal with our left subtree so we get down to four and we do four then we go back up to the value that we're at which is three and we say is there a right subtree here let's deal with that but there isn't one so we go back up to one and then we deal with our right subtree my bad 
So, 3 doesn't have a right subtree. So, that gives us nothing. And then we deal with what we have. Then we go back up to, to, to our root node 1. Then we deal with its right subtree. And then we deal with it. So, that is what we'd expect of post-order traversal for this uh, example tree that I have outlined here. So let's go ahead and implement that post order. And you can see that these are all very similar functions. And all I'm doing is changing their name, their names, and changing where I do my treatment of the value that I'm currently on. So that should be the implementation for post order. Let's check this out in the REPL. So we reload, I browse, check out my module, see that my function has been exported, and then I will create my binary tree and I will use my function. And here we get four, three, two, one. Is that what we were expecting? Post order, four, three, two, one. And folks, that is how we implement our pre-order traversal, our in-order traversal method, and our post-order method of doing traversal. There is a simple pattern here where all that's happening is that we keep moving to the right with how we treat the value that we currently have. First, with pre, pre means before, so we dealt with our, our current value before everything else. In order, kind of lines up in order from left to right. So we dealt with our left, then we dealt with the value, then we dealt with our right. And post order, post means after. So we dealt with the current value after we've dealt with everything else that we've needed to deal with. And we can call that a wrap. Wonderful. In the next video, we will tackle how to make or binary tree foldable, whatever that means. You'll find out in the next video. So you'll find the link to the code that we've written here in the description. Again, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more and leave some comments down below about how you've wrestled with binary trees or trees and their different methods of of, of, of traversal. Follow me on Twitter and Medium at Onel Harrison if you'd like to see my content over on those channels. Until next time, peace.